this was his bedroom where we found it on the morning of 11th of December, the year 2009. He had been tied and brutally uh, butchered. If you wanted to rob Father Jerry Roach, you didn't have to break into his house because he never locked the door. All you do is walk in in the middle of the day and take whatever he had. Do you have any um, theories on, on why what, what happened to him happened? No. No. No idea. Father Jerry was into peace all the time. And he, he will really be into you know, a spokesperson for those who can't speak. the book of just sayings and things I suppose that's broken. Patriotism is a disease as bad as communism. <laughs> you know, how politically correct and how religiously correct a lot of that would be. <laughs> he was no holy Joe whatsoever. I did give a mouthful, you know, to workmen and stuff like that if they weren't doing their job. And of course, when you come back from Kenya, I think you see the way people were wasting food. He was nearly crying. Every time he saw something, he'd say, can I take that back to Africa with me? People used to take to him our life, yeah? <sighs> Very much. That's why he got, how he got so much money, of course. People would be giving him money, like, almost against their w will, like, you know? <laughs> Early for me, I just knew priests as people were very far from people maybe out there, but for the Roach was very near to the people. He was very close to the people. I think that's the greatest thing about him, that he absolutely wanted the best. Jerry Roach, for one man, you were a mighty man. May God have rest in peaceful soul.